alternatives to slugging that don't make you feel like a wet chicken cutlet sliding off your pillow. Because I, your acne big sister, resident medical esthetician, person who tries way too many internet skincare trends so that you don't have to, tried slugging on my acne prone oily skin. And I have updates on how that went. And let me just say, there were a couple things that were surprising that were good, but there were others that just did not cut it. And we have to talk about the alternatives that I would recommend. So if you don't want to feel like a slimy stylometaphora, you don't have to. And again, I hope this is how you pronounce stylometaphora, stylometaphora. I think that's how you pronounce it. I couldn't figure it the f out. Stylometaphora, stylometaphora. Stylometaphora. Stupid translate. I want to get this right. Stylometaphora. Style. God, these are terrible pronunciations. What? <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this at all. So somebody who actually has an education and understands air breathing land slugs, please educate me. Essentially, slugging is this idea that has really been around forever, but it kind of got this new name. You see, petrolatum jelly, otherwise known as Vaseline, has been used for ages by the African American community, as well as by people who struggle with eczema or psoriasis. It's basically this occlusive petroleum-based product that gets put on the skin and protects it from the outside world. It's used in wound healing and it really is wonderful. It's not dangerous or toxic or anything like that, but it's fragrance free, really inexpensive, and it works very well for a sealant on skin. If you do want this one specifically, the vegan cruelty free one, I've left the link in the description as well as some alternatives. I recommend this one. They have the big one and they have the little one. Both of those are there for you if you want to look at the ingredients or the sizes. I think I paid like three or four dollars for this entire jar, so. Yeah. Some people also use this along with their retinoids. If you put this on first and then put a retinoid on, it's a way to buffer a retinoid if you are prone to the itching, the peeling, and the redness of retinization. But you could also put your retinoid on first and use this to seal things in, especially if you use hyaluronic acid or hydrators. A lot of people use petrolatum jelly, which is the refined version of petroleum jelly, to seal that in. Now, recently, this has become a trend called slugging because when you put this jelly on your face, you legit look like a slug like a stylo metaphora. I hope that's how you pronounce this. It feels really gross. And when people with acne prone skin do this, occasionally they break out. Now this naturally will not just cause someone to break out. There's nothing in here that's going to cause acne. If that were the truth, then everybody who slugged would get acne. And there are a lot of skincare products that have petroleum jelly or petrolatum in them that are actually used all over for people with acne. I mean, look at La Mer. They use, you know, the $2 version of this and then they put it along with some seaweed and a miracle bra and sell it to you for $400. So there's a market for this stuff. Now, while it's good for some people who are breakout prone, if your skin is really sensitive or if it feels really overly suffocated, it can be a disaster. And for other people who don't like the greasy feel, oh, if you have like sensory things, this can be an adventure. And let me say for my acne prone skin, I originally tried this about a year ago, maybe two years ago. Oh my God, 2020 was two years ago. Two years ago in the winter, I'm doing it again for a period of time to show you a before and after of what happened. As I picked this up again, I remembered why I f hated it. And so I do have some alternatives for you. Some if you have acne and want to slug, but actually make it acne prone friendly versus others that are K-beauty or that are just eczema friendly and don't feel quite as nasty or snailerific as this does. So this is Salimo jelly. This is what I recommend. It's the vegan cruelty-free version of Vaseline. Whereas for some f reason, Vaseline still tests on animals because they sell in China with whatever. This is cheaper. I get it off of Amazon. It is great. They come the little mini tins and then the big tins. But if you are looking for almost the exact same thing, but without the petrolatum or the petroleum, and you want a retinoid in it, a little goes a long way. This is an eye bomb, but it works so good. This is from Versed, and this is specifically the Smooth Landing Advanced Retinoid Eye Bomb. This is basically, it feels like Vaseline, except it has a retinoid in it. And it isn't Vaseline, even though it feels very similar. So if you are looking for something that is almost the same, maybe not quite as heavy, but you see how it still gives you that like, like greasy shine. This feels just like it, but this is great for acne prone skin. Or if you have wrinkles, right? Instead of layering your retinoid, this is basically the level up version. And because this is so small, as you can see, I've still used a lot of it, but this has lasted me, you know, quite a long time because a little goes such a long way. Because it kind of warms up on your skin, you literally need the lightest touch. And this allows you to get the benefit of a retinoid, specifically the 
anti-acne, the anti-wrinkle, anti-hyperpigmentation, anti-scarring benefits, or without having to actually use uh, the grease ball goo. It's also a very gentle retinoid. If I remember correctly, I believe it's encapsulated. Again, this was meant for the eye, so it is gentle. I like to use it on my marionette lines. I use it around my eyes, but I use it all over my face. This has been one of my favorites, and this is what I go for when I want to slug and not feel disgusting about it. Now, for some people, this is still going to be too much. Although I recommend this for the acne prone or the people who want to slug and fight wrinkles and slug and fight acne, there are other options if you don't want the greasy goo. But the biggest bangs for your buck that you can get is actually one whoa, I just decided to throw across the ether. This is specifically similar to CeraVe. It's from CeraMedics. And the way I would recommend using this is either by layering them or just using this one. You see, CeraVe really is popular with a lot of doctors and derms because it is so thick, it is fragrance free, it is inexpensive, but it's not cruelty free. And sometimes it kind of feels nasty on the skin. Well, this is from CeraMedics. It is wonderful. It's a vegan cruelty free version and it still has plant-based ceramides. And as you can see, she thick. I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area, so like it's cold right now. And as you can see, it gets like legit solid when it's cold outside. In the summer, this does melt down much easier. But if you're someone who's looking for the benefits of slugging without the grease, I mean, you can even see how this kind of makes my skin shine, this retinol eye balm versed sluggy thingy versus this one. It's a little bit less grody, but still occlusive and hydrating. And the main thing about this is that it does have those ceramides in there. Ceramides make up part of our skin, specifically 50%, so half of our skin's outer layer, which is called the stratum corneum. And as we get older, our skin tends to lose those ceramides. So replenishing them really, really helps, especially if you are someone who, you know, was using slugging because you're dry or because you have eczema or psoriasis. Obviously speak to your doctor if you have a medical condition, but this is an ultra moisturizing cream that is so good. Very similar to CeraVe, but again, you could mix them in, you could layer them to kind of lessen the grossness or the ick factor of this, or you could just use this on its own. And again, if I were to show you oh, what this is like, oh, blah. Disgusting! It's just like, it's so, oh, it's such an experience. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. As you can see, this right here is the Vaseline Salimo Jelly. This right here is the Eye Balm. They're almost identical. Whereas right here, this is the Ceramedics. And you can see it's a little bit more mattified. Now, the great thing about this is that it is fragrance free, but what if you want a K-Beauty option? What if you are not so mad about fragrances? You want something that smells a little nice? Baby, sugar, spice, everything nice, K-Beauty delivers. This right here is from Dear Claire's. This is the Rich Moist Soothing Cream. And I would say that this is the closest thing that gets you to feeling like the way your skin feels after you slug. So when you are actually slugging or putting Vaseline on your skin, you cannot just walk out throughout the day. People will comment. I went to the post office to ship out some subscriber Discord Patreon goodie boxes because sometimes I make you guys custom skincare routines and it's very fun. But I went to the post office when I was slugging and even the mail lady was like, oh, no moisturizer? I was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. You have no idea. I was like, ah, fuck. It was an adventure. So when you slug, you need to remove the goo before you go outside. And that removal process is like the best part because the way your skin feels after is glorious. Whatever you put on first has penetrated, you feel hydrated, you feel great. This gives you that feeling without having to go through this. Like you could literally just put this on and go. Again, this is a K-Beauty moisturizer. I'm gonna put it right down here. She thick, she does have ceramides in there, which is why I would compare it to this, but it is K-Beauty. It is so soft and nourishing, and I feel like it is a little bit more liquidy. I feel like it absorbs a little bit better than this, whereas you can see, this was kind of chonky. She a little bit more liquidy. As you can see, it gives your skin that beautiful hydrated glow, but it actually absorbs. Whereas when you're slugging, it does not absorb, huh? It just sits there. This gives your skin the feeling of slugging without actually having to slug. And I would say that this is the best option if you just want something that's beautiful, you slap it on, you go. This does have a very light fragrance. I can barely smell it, but again, my nose doesn't work very well because it's longer than it is wide and whatever the f is going on in my face. It's not COVID. I've just never had a great sense of smell. Like I can, I can smell things if I really try, but like, it's rough, which also just increases my anxiety around COVID times. But this doesn't have an overly powerful scent. So if you're worried about the scent, I would say sniff it first. This one is specifically one that I got from Stylevana. Dear Claire's can be purchased a bunch of places. I found that Stylevana has the best prices for K-Beauty. So that's where I like to get it. But I have left this in the description as well as all of the other ones. But overall, I love this one as a K-Beauty option. Now, what if you are somebody who was recommended to use Vaseline, Salimo Jelly, or Petrolatum Jelly specifically 
likely because of eczema or psoriasis, but you hate the feel, you don't like, it makes you slide around like a greasy chicken cutlet flying off your mattress at night. This right here is actually made by a dermatologist for eczema prone skin. Now this is thick, I will warn you, but it is also fragrance free. This is the body seal from SLMD. And hello, do you know who the <laughs> SLMD is? Dr. Sandra Lee, MD, Dr. Pimple Popper. I love Dr. Pimple Popper. I yodeled with Dr. Pimple Popper. It was a magical, magical moment. But this is literally made for dry eczema prone skin that needs repairing. It's made by a doctor, by a dermatologist. This is not an eczema treatment per se, because there is no treating eczema, but this soothes, this helps. It is so good. I do have a family member who struggles with really, really severe eczema and psoriasis. And this stuff is a lifesaver. It's calming, it's soothing, it is so refreshing, and it doesn't feel overly goopy the way this does. Literally, doctors and dermatologists recommend giving certain kids bleach baths for eczema and then putting Vaseline on them. I'm not telling you to take a bleach bath. Do not dump your kid in bleach. Listen to your doctor dermatologist. But in general, some doctors and derms literally prescribe diluted bleach baths and then Vaseline and putting the Vaseline Salimo jelly on with socks and wearing it to bed for when you're itchy and dry and you have eczema on your hands. So this works, but this is even better. This has glycerin, this has rice bran, this has sunflower oil, and again, it is fragrance free. This does not have the petrolatum jelly, um, you know, that the actual Vaseline or actual slugging does. And can you see how even in cold temperatures, it's not as thick and chunky as CeraVe, it's more of a liquid, but it is a little bit more firm than the K-Beauty. Like this is get up and go, just put it on and it's like you slugged without slugging. Whereas this, oh God, it's so smooth on the skin, but like this is for the dry skin. This is for the ashy elbows, the ashy knees. This is for the eczema prone. This is for after you shaved your legs in winter and it's cold and your legs kind of look like fish scales. That is when you use this. It is so good. It is so nourishing. And if you're not as sensitive and you want something for the face, you could use this on the face. I would say it's a little thick for me being oily to oily combination. But if you're dry, you could use this on the face or I would recommend this. But again, if you are someone who is worried about those fragrances, this one right here, babes, again, you could mix this in together because they both have a similar consistency, but the way this one absorbs a little bit better, this one just sits on top. And if you want something almost identical to this, but that is literally made for the wrinkled, for the acne prone, for those who want a retinoid in their routine, this eye balm is like the best thing I could recommend. It's like $16, closest thing you can get to slugging, but getting better results and better results benefits. If you want the video of me slugging on my skin with a before and after, someone convince me because, oh, this is, oh my God, my, my poor face. I buy and try them so that you don't have to. And I love you, you little silly intellectual slugs. Again, do I look like a sexy slug today? Do I look like a sexy slug? What does a sexy slug even look like? Don't answer that. I was feeling festive. Okay. Okay. Overall, remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically. Always reapply your sunscreen. Again, sunscreen will not not work over this. Sunscreen will work over this. You kind of have to work on it, but sunscreen could work over these. But reapply that sunscreen during the day, baby, even on cloudy days. And always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I can't wait to see you in this next video.